Hi guys, this is Douglas Glad from Hot Rod, and I'm here with Mark, Paul, and Charlie from Formosa Group. These are the guys who put the sound to vehicles in movies. What they do is they take burnouts and engine noises and they lay it onto the film. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're going to do today? We are going to find where the car sounds the most interesting and put mics to record it. From the tailpipe to under the engine to inside the car and just various flavors that we'll blend to make the sound of the car in the movie. So in case you guys don't recognize this car, this is the 57 Chevy Project X. Uh, it's the most popular 57 probably in the world. These guys are going to mic it up. We're gonna drive around and create a sound library and then we're gonna go back to their studio and see how the magic works. So when we first started the car and listened to it, it's got a great interesting whine, which is stereotypical for the car. So basically there's gonna be wires everywhere that get taped to the car. We'll find a way to put um, another Omni mic close enough to be safe, but at the same time capture the sound. Do to get the connector. What do you think of putting it in the wind? I think wind? it's fine. You might want to see this. They're making sure all the mics are hot. Here, I'll tap. Yeah. So basically it's just a, a, a map of what mics are what, what channels have what mics. Because it's easy to lose track and a lot of times you want to number them so when something's not working right you know what to find to fix. Like right now Paul's setting up a, a microphone for the inside of the car. And a lot of times insides of the cars don't sound all that interesting and not even that useful but a car like this really will be. Get it fired up? Yeah. situation we would do everything that the car would do so we would start the car going as slow as possible then you do five mile an hour increments and we'd eventually get up to however fast the car can go 100 miles an hour 150 miles an hour so you got to cover the whole thing because you never know if you're gonna get the car back or not to record it again okay we mic'd up the car we got some laps in now we're gonna go back to the studio in Santa Monica and put it all together So once we get the stuff recorded, get it into our DAW, we're able to look at it a little closer and examine what the takes are. The green files here represent the exterior recordings and then the red files represent the microphones that we had on board. So my job primarily is to get these files and to cut them up so I would document that as that and that becomes a clip for the library. Normally we would do this for a whole day. We'll have hours of the vehicle recorded and we can make a nice comprehensive library. So we'll bring them, put them all together in one session and sort of line up all those different sounds. When you're putting the car together in a sequence, you want to be able to go find quickly what you want to use. So an old car that's as cool as that 57 Chevy, the tailpipe is pretty awesome. So we try to focus on that on any of the older cars. And this is what we got for the same buy. That's better. <laughs> if you add the engine, you get a lot more fidelity in the full bandwidth of the car. And that sounds something like this. So you said you had eight different channels, so you could take any part of that and make it louder or quieter. Mm -hmm. And then of course with the footage, you can cut it in to you know, the, the car approaching, the car going by, or even the car in a different place. Exactly, what we like to do, we will sync the inside sounds of the car with the outside when someone's recording outside. We sync those sounds in the same timeline. We'll have those perspectives already in time matching the performance so it sounds very natural. Super cool, really nice to meet you guys. Thanks for putting the 57 Chevy noise on top of uh, a Volkswagen four-door <laughs> utility vehicle.